Hey guys, in this Land Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create some frames with a tap to change function. So when we tap on the screen, the frames are changing. I have created a script for you, which you can download and use for free. And I will show you how to use this. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create some frames with a tap to change function here in Land Studio. Before we start, please make sure that you have downloaded the JavaScript file, which we need to create this land. So please go to the description of this video and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox page and here please download the tap to change.js file. You can also download the graphics if you don't have your own. But yeah, you can also use your own. After the download is done, we can import our assets. The first will be the tap to change.js file and then also the graphics you want to use. After the import is done, we can start creating our scene. For this, we go to the left hand side and here we click on the plus in the scene panel. And here we will select the screen image. When we have done this, um, Land Studio will automatically create this camera for us with the full frame region and also the screen image. So I will rename this to screen image one. Then when we go to the plus again, we can create another screen image because we need of course three images which we want to switch. And here also, the last one. And now we will set the textures for those images. So screen image one will get the frame one, two will get the frame two, and three will get the frame three. So now you can already see in the preview that those three are overlaid, but we just want to have one frame at a time. So now it is time to start with our script. So for this, we just drag and drop the tab to change script file into our scene panel. And then we can find this tab to change script in our scene. Just click on it. And on the right hand side, you can add some values. So click here on add value and then just, yeah, select the three images. When you have more, you can do more. If you have less, you can also do less. This doesn't matter. And then click OK. And now we can already see that just the first one is visible. Um, yeah. If you want to have the second one um, be visible at the start, just drag and drop the order here in the script. So now the second one is visible. Now we can al already test the filter. So just click on the screen and you see that the frames are changing. So yeah, this was all the magic about a tap to change function for screen images. So if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.